<clears throat> Hi everybody, this is a general reading, an energy reading for Pisces for April 2018. The cards I'm going to be using for the main body of the energy um, is my new Game of Thrones deck. I have pulled two cards for the Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue and the Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Barnreid. Before I start, I just want you to know that there will be a special for April. I'm going to do um, a reading for £10 for people who email me with a question. Um, and this will be for the whole month of April. My email address is on my main page if you want to just have a look there. Uh, again, this is a general reading. You should be looking also at your moon sign and your ascendant sign if you want something more cohesive. Uh, if you don't relate to it at all, then I would I would definitely look at that, okay? Well, let's get started. Too much talking. Let me have a look. The Two of Spears. The Two of Cups reversed. The Page of Swords. Queen of Cups. And let me have a look. The Ace of Spears. Right, guys, let me have a look. Hmm. Well, it looks like you've turned up in your own reading anyway with the Queen of Cups here. Again, I don't always look at gender, so don't worry about that. If it's male, female, it doesn't really matter. But the Queen of Cups makes me think of Pisces, okay? Um, I'm feeling with energy for Pisces for April is going to be... That's something that you've been you've been waiting on a message for somebody, or waiting on somebody returning to you. Maybe it's been a past relationship that you've, been, that you've been thinking about, or even just somebody that you've recently broke up with. Because I've got the two of cups here, and the two of cups to me is always, um, you know, it's when you you get a partnership, and you, it is in the reverse. So it's almost like maybe this partnership's got a question mark over it at this point in time. It might not even be a, 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 a relationship as in, as in romance. It can be a partnership, friendship, um, business partner, somebody you work with. It can be anything like that. But at the moment, you've maybe um, taken time out for one another because you, you've heard somebody's told you something. Because here we have the Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords tends to be um, maybe a wee bit of gossip or being told a secret or something that in April that you, you didn't know about. Could be about yourself, could be about this person. And you're going to take a time out to really think, to think it over. Because here we are, you, we've got the Queen of Cups here. Um, very, you know, you could be feeling quite emotional here. When you, wh Whatever this is you're going to hear, you're going to take a time away from it and really gather your, your, your emotions. Um... And you're definitely going to be think, thinking this, when I say think this through, you're going to be feeling this through. How does it make you feel to have this happen with this person? Okay, no point in going with your head in this because your head could be telling you one thing and your gut's telling you something else. So go by your emotions on this because here we have the, the Ace of Spears. Something new is going to come in for you. Um, it could be uh, a new activity. You could be thinking about doing something brand new. Um, maybe this is maybe this is what's been needed for it to move you forward. Maybe this friendship or this relationship or whatever it is that's on the rocks at the moment. Maybe that's what's been needed. Maybe this has been holding you back from for making a new move, a new start, and something else. So it's, it's going to work out for the best. May not seem like that at the time when it's happening in April, but um, it, it's for it's for the best because it's going to move you forward. This personal situation could have been holding you up, holding you back, Pisces. For those in a relationship, love yourself first. Your self respect makes you more romantically attractive. I, I feel with this card as well. You could have were you being Pisces. Pisces is a very um, you are very psychic and you are also very loving and you give a lot to other people. And I think it's time now, Pisces, that you start thinking about you for a change. Because everybody else does. Do you know what I mean? It's like 
if you if you're not giving to yourself and you're giving out all the time, you're going to deplete your energy. So take my advice on that. Start looking after number one for a change. I don't mean that not to be selfish and heartless. I don't mean that. I just mean see learn to say no. For those of you that are looking for romance or looking for you know friendships or whatever, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. You know, I, I know these are romance angel cards, but sometimes I relate to them as well as looking for just new friendships. A lot of people can be quite lonely the now. The, the world that we live in has made us very isolated. And I think um, it's good. I think there's a wee site called Helpful Peeps. I don't know if it's all over the world, but I know there's one here in the UK. And you could post on that just to get somebody even to go running with you or... Um, Go to the go to the pictures or people you know get get out and about with other people. We became so isolated and all this carry on that's been you know it's been on about Facebook. People are starting to come away from all that now. Hopefully, hopefully. I mean, obviously, you are all looking at this on social media, and social media and um is is great if it's used wisely. But we need to have contact. We need to have human contact, and I think that's what a lot of Pisces, because you you are a really loving um sign. I think you are a very emotional, very psychic, very intuitive sign, and very soon you're going to bring in somebody who's just for you. Um, for the wisdom of the oracle card, we have poised. Oh, but it's in the reverse, guys. So poised in the reverse to me is you may be trying to be pushing forward in something and it's not the right time. I'm going to read from Colette Barn Reed's book but I do feel that that's what that can mean. It can mean that at the moment take a time out. Just really look at something properly without jumping in and making hash bash decision. Right, let me have a look. It's number 48. Right, let's have a 48. And it's in reverse. So it's a protection message. You're not ready to move forward at this time and that has to be okay. Be poised in the face of demands and deadlines. Pretending you know what you're doing works sometimes, but if you adopt a fake it till you make it attitude, it will land you in some muck now. This is not the time to wing it and deliver something half finished. It's okay to postpone things until you are re really ready. It's better to disappoint others now than to wish you had later. So I think that's telling you to take it, take a, things um, slowly. Don't rush things or you'll just make a hash bash job of it. Okay, Pisces. Well, I hope that gave you a, a little insight to April. As I said, take advantage of the £10 um, readings for April. I think you would really enjoy it. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. And thank you to the guys who already have. Um, I will be putting up more pick a cards and some tea leaf readings for you because you seem to really enjoy that. Right guys, hope to speak to everybody soon. Bye bye. Bye Pisces.